I'm Allison with Sound Horticulture here in Bellingham, Washington. And although most people nowadays are thinking of our business as being so focused on beneficial insects and that aspect of biocontrol, we've been working with the compost tea brewers and compost tea extracts for many, many years, since back in 85. So I want to give you a brief introduction to, as to what these smaller two machines look like. We've got a 10 gallon, we've got a 25. We also have 100 and 500 gallon systems that our larger growers are using. But people are curious about how the extraction process works. So we went ahead and we filled this 25 gallon brewer with uh, water up to the fill line. And what's really sweet is we have actually just a little fill spout. So you can hook it up, walk away. And now what I'd like to do is go ahead and fill the uh, stainless basket. It's a nice 20 mesh screen. It's really very durable. I'm going to fill this with compost and um, we're going to start this up. So the idea here is this vermicompost has been lab tested. We have an E. coli negative. We have lots of good information about the microbial enumeration, the uh, basic numbers, and it's a good sense of the diversity of the organisms. However, we don't have DNA. But this is about all we need for the 25 gallons. That's about six and a half, seven pounds of good vermicompost. We can also use other types of compost for added effect. So I'm going to drop this in, and we will also be showing you what it looks like when the aeration disc at the bottom lights up. We have about 7,000 little pinprick holes. The air is going to move up through this basket, and I'm going to put that aeration device, the cylinder, down to the very bottom of the tea basket. The air is now coming on, and what's going to happen is the air is pushing out through the compost at the same time aeration high levels coming up through the basket, and we're shearing the organisms and all the soluble nutrients off the compost into the hot tub, basically. This, is, this aeration unit is on a magnetic drive pump. It's going to run for 22 hours, and voila, at 70 degrees with pure water and the right compost. We are also going to make sure that we have a food resource, a nutrient blend. This is the catalyst from Growing Solutions that we really like. So this has taken a long time to really develop. It's well calibrated. There are no simple sugars, just complex carbohydrates and minerals and some amazing botanical extracts. So we have in here humic and fulvic acids, some of the molt deposit, the azomite, finely powdered for the whole periodic table worth of diversity of uh, mineral complex. And we also have a bunch of soluble kelp in here. So the soluble kelp is great because you've got the hormonal aspects, the PGR effects, and that can really help with your tea at the end. We have botanical extracts as well, which we can't divulge all those resources, but it's an amazing blend and this is what gets the tea going. And while the bubbler is going, that's going to mix this right in. So the organisms that are sheared off the compost and into the tea water are going to now actually start replicating. At 70 degrees, you're going to have bacterium, the beneficial bacterium, doubling in suspension every 20 minutes. So there you have it. After that, we can drain and go discharge or move into an injector or an irrigation system. So there's a lot more to it, but that's the basics.